right. Hi, my name is Kevin Gray, publisher of Fierce Wireless, and today I'm excited to be joined by Sunil Ramachandran, the Director of Technology for the Networks Business at Samsung. Uh, Sunil, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Kevin. Great. Okay. So Sunil, today I wanted to talk with you about OpenRAN. Um, there were obviously a ton of expectations for OpenRAN this year, and many expect 2023 to be the defining year for it. Um, now, my question to you is looking back, do you think that was the case? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Samsung, we have made uh, significant strides in Open RAN this year. We helped Dish Wireless launch the virtualized Open RAN 5G broadband network in the United States, which has since hit a number of milestones, including FCC's June 2023 deadline to provide 5G broadband coverage to 70% uh, of US population. We also kicked off a massive Open RAN rollout in United Kingdom, where we are replacing Vodafone's legacy technology with Samsung Open RAN solution. We recently announced a collaboration with Telefonica to advance the cloud native and Open RAN in technologies in Germany. Together, we will be developing a, a test suite of uh, Open RAN test cases for uh, 4G and 5G technologies, first in, in the lab in Munich, and we'll go to the, to the field later on. Earlier this year, KDDI announced uh, the commercial deployments of uh, 5G Open RAN sites in Japan, for which uh, we are providing the Open RAN compliant 5G uh, 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 systems, including the virtualized CU and virtualized DU. Uh, so even though some industry analysts may see that the Open RAN is not growing as fast as the initial projections, uh, the Open RAN is expected to account for more than 15% of uh, global RAN spend in by 2027. So, and we are also continuing to see a lot of interest from operators around the globe. So, yes, we are confident that uh, and optimistic that the Open RAN growth is going to happen in coming for coming years. Great. So you mentioned that 15% stat, which is very impressive, right? But to that point that you're, you're just making there, what, what still needs to be done uh, in the industry to, to further Open RAN adoption and to get it there and beyond? The, the Open RAN itself is a new architecture. Uh, it's, it's different from what uh, operators are usually used to, where the whole the RAN solution comes from a single vendor. So as with any new technology, there is a learning curve and a time that takes uh, uh, that it takes. Uh, especially in the open RAN, one of the main aspects that uh, has been got a lot of attention is the interoperability. And uh, interoperability has to get it right from the beginning to make the uh, deployments uh, deployments go smooth. Um, in the, from, from that aspect, uh, industry has made good strides uh, in that uh, in the interoperability by defining interoperability and the conformance test specifications along with the open interface specifications, uh, but it's not perfect. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's not a plug and play as of now, but uh, there is a right focus from the industry. For example, Oran Alliance has uh, made the open integration and test centers or OTIC as a priority to foster the interoperability, and that will help the global ecosystem to develop. So I think we are in the right direction uh, uh, from from an industry point of view, and for Samsung, what we do is we create uh, a, we have created a strong ecosystem of partners, where we interwork with uh, multiple partners and uh, pre-integrate the solution, the virtualized RAN, open RAN solution. We pre-integrate and validate before it goes to the to our customers. That way, uh, we take out maybe 70, 80 percent of the system integration effort that is required on the operator uh, who is deploying, deploying these uh, open RAN networks. And this also helps uh, the time to market for the Samsung open RAN systems. So these are the, some of the things that I think uh, the industry has to uh, come together to, uh, to, to enhance the open RAN adoption. Okay, that's a great point on partnerships and what they can do. Um, okay, great. So, so Neil, the third and last question I have for you today is just beyond expanding your partnerships, right? Uh, what are other ways Samsung has played a role in, in shaping the, the future of Open RAN? We have been at the forefront of expanding the collaboration with our industry partners to create uh, a, a strong open ecosystem. Uh, this partnership range from uh, commercial off-the-shelf servers, the container platforms, uh, the CPU vendors, 
front hall, mid hall, uh, transport uh, solutions, cloud providers, and so on, and others. So, and we have integrated with various uh, of uh, our solution with the various of these partners and proven our uh, telco grade performance in commercial networks. So, that, that's from the product aspect, but also uh, we have been a, a strong, a major contributor in Oran Alliance uh, in the industry forum where the open specifications are being defined. In fact, we were part of the one of the men, members uh, when the Oran Alliance was formed way back in 2018 uh, as a merger of the CRAN Alliance and uh, Extran Foundation. We were even part of the Extran Foundation uh, uh, before uh, the Oran uh, Alliance was formed, uh, where, where we were actually trying advancing the open front all initiatives and other open interfaces initiatives. So we have been contributing, and we also have. Uh, uh, co-chair positions in the in the working groups uh, in Oran Alliance. So apart from the Oran Alliance, we also uh, focus on uh, the open source community under the Oran Alliance. For example, under the Linux Foundation, we contribute a lot in the uh, on the open source community for the Open RAN. Uh, we were uh, we were elected as the member of uh, technical oversight committee last year where the committee has the responsibility to monitor the, uh, the features that go into the open source and being aligned with the Oran Alliance. So from the industry consortium and the standardization point of, uh, point of view, Sam has, Samsung has been a great contribution, uh, has been contributing greatly in that area. With uh, various industry analysts and operators have, uh, have recognized Samsung's uh, uh, role in advancing Open RAN. Uh, Samsung was named as the leader in the open RAN by uh, Dell Oro Group in their uh, research. And we are also being named by multiple other industry analysts being instrumental uh, because of our, our experience, uh, expertise with the radio technology as well as the, the, the experts' uh, experience with the brownfield deployments. So, yep, Samsung has, is, is committed uh, and we are uh, committed in the advancing open RAN in collaborating with uh, multiple operators uh, around the globe. Great. That's a great way to wrap it up, I think. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Sunil, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Kevin.